What is up guys? I am the high tech redneck and this is the Donner Noise Killer Mini Noise Gate Pedal. <clears throat> this is a pretty awesome pedal. Um, let's get right into it. The features of this pedal. It comes with the standard flip top magnetic lid uh, cardboard box. As you can see it is labeled a noiser gate. Really? Noiser gate? Donner, that's not valid English. Please get a translator and fix that. <clears throat> Um, yeah, that's kind of kind of goofy. Next up, we have the amazing manual <clears throat> that they send, which is also kind of goofy here. And if we look at the features section, we see it, it shares something in common with the Ultimate Comp because they have the same features according to the manual. They have <clears throat> entirely gaining and boosting the distortion degree of metal. Has the special and strong distortion effect. True bypass provides transparent tone. LED indicator shows the working state. I'm pretty sure this guy, and you can see this is the noise killer manual, I'm pretty sure this guy does not provide any sort of distortion. So, <clears throat> sorry. Donner, please look at your manuals and fix those. That's just, that's bad. It's kind of funny though, I will admit it's kind of funny. So, uh, yeah, it is true bypass, I checked it out. It does seem like a true bypass pedal. It has a standard 9 volt power plug, just like a boss pedal would. It has a rubber padded bottom, as you can see, and there's your power plug. Um, let's see here. We have a very big threshold knob, which I like. I love the big size of the knob. And we have a nice solid switch, which switches between hard and soft modes. You know you love to switch it from soft to hard. Um, it has a working current of 26 milliamps. According to the manual, it has a 1 mega ohm input impedance and 100 ohm output impedance. If you notice, that is a different input and output impedance than most of the other Donner mini pedals have. Um, it does work something like a buffer if you use it, say, with a microphone going into your computer. It, uh, yeah, it does some things to the signal that normal pedals do not do. Uh, let's see here. So for the features, I give it a 10 out of 10. I could not ask anything else out of a little mini pedal this size, although the manual could use some improvement, as well as the labeling on the package. <clears throat> so for construction, this one was very well put together right out of the box. Everything was well fitted. The rubber bottom is good quality. The quarter inch jacks, uh, mode switch, knob, the foot switch, everything is awesome and super solid. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Everything about it is good. I give the construction a 10 out of 10. I have no problems whatsoever with that. Uh, for the sound, firstly, this pedal kills the buzz, just like it says it was. It kills the extra noise in the sound when the guitar is silent, which is exactly what it's supposed to do. The pedal does change the tone very slightly, but it's a very subtle change, and it can be hard to even hear it. I find the soft mode... Uh, gives a very light volume boost and it adds just a little bit of clarity to the tone it, Especially in the mids and the highs and like I said, it seems to boost them and add some clarity Maybe even just a very slight bit of compression uh, The hard mode does the exact same thing, but in a slightly more pronounced way uh, It's still totally good sound still totally usable. Neither one of them ruins the tone in fact I think the changes in the tone are positive changes rather than the kinds of changes that like suck the tone away and make the sound worse. This pedal actually adds tone to the sound, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> so I give the, the sound a 9 out of 10 because it's not quite transparent as you know some may be or as some might like it, but it does not kill the tone by any means. Plus the two modes are more usable for the really picky player. Okay, on to the function. The function of this pedal is absolutely great. It kills the buzz in the signal chain. It works at the start or the end of the chain. It can kill the sustain if you set it improperly, but that's just the nature of a noise gate. They all do that. It does not work miracles on extremely terrible buzz if you have grounding issues and things like that. Um, but it is amazing for general light to medium buzz, like it's in your bedroom or on stage when things get just a little bit out of hand. It solves a very annoying problem for me where 
I will sit around in my bedroom with an amplifier on and a guitar in my lap while I surf through YouTube, either on guitar lessons or playing with backing tracks or whatever, and sometimes I sit there for 10 or 15 minutes answering an email or something with that guitar in my lap, and it just sits there and bzzz, buzzes in the background really lightly, and after a while it grates on your nerves, and you don't even notice how much you dislike that buzzing until it's gone, and you realize how peaceful it is without the buzzing, and then the buzzing comes back when you turn the noise gate off and you immediately flip it right back on because yeah and, and when you take the noise gate out of the chain and that little buzzing is there all the time again you miss it so yeah it is a totally useful pedal in certain situations um i give the function a 10 out of 10 it's totally usable <clears throat> and i am glad to have it around so in summary it's a great pedal it's very solid it's simple it's easy to use it does not ruin your tone it does not take up too much space it does not cost a ton of cash it, I highly recommend this if you have a need for one. I would not just go buy one just to have one, but if you've ever caught yourself sitting around thinking, hmm, maybe I should go buy a noise gate, I think this could be the one for you. Overall, I give this pedal a 10 out of 10. It is just awesome all the way around. It's so simple, so awesome, so easy to use. Very straightforward kind of pedal. I like it a lot, and I highly recommend it. It is definitely worth the money. I'm going to leave you guys with a really simple demo of how this works, and hopefully you found this awesome and interesting and useful. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Tell your mama. Yeah. I am the High Tech Redneck. Later. And now, last but not least, we have our noise killer here to demo. So, this one, there's not really much that it does for your tone. I'll show you the basics real quick. <laughs> Standard G chord. Very, very slight difference. It does seem to open up the voicing just a tiny bit. It like like it adds some highs and mids in there. Um, and then our soft mode, just slightly different tone. It feels more transparent on that mode. And now let's demo the actual noise killing function. So when we have it off, let's turn on, say, some uh, high gain here. You can hear there's some buzzing going on there. And now it's magically gone. And if we adjust our threshold knob down, the buzz comes back. And we raise it until it disappears. And now, once the buzz is gone, as long as the guitar is silent, it will stay gone. While you play, the buzz comes back. So you should hear the buzz in the background there, and you hear there's a lot of sustain in this guitar. If I crank the threshold knob way up, of course it kills the buzz, but it also kills my sustain, so you have to be careful with this. So let's say we come here. Actually, it, it killed the entire signal there. Let's come here. Yeah, and you can see it just cuts the note off in the middle, but when we come back here, just just enough to kill the buzz. We actually have some sustain in the guitar. And you see there when the note faded, it finally cut off, but it does let the guitar sustain whenever you set it right. So there you go, noise killer demo. I am the high tech redneck. Hope you enjoyed this and found it useful and awesome and all that. Later. <laughs>